fellow Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world back again. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, he doesn't like it, Bob. <laughs> yes, he loves it. He wants to be the star. So. Um, he has gained, how many pounds would that be? Five ounces. Ounces. five ounces. Or five ounces. Five pounds. He's gained five pounds. <laughs> He's hogs. <laughs> five ounces, which is good because now he doesn't have to worry about his weight. Because that's one thing. We've been extra feeding him. Extra booby milk, as the kids would say. Yes. <laughs> um, and then I'm all good. My blood pressure's down. I can go to half a pill, which is exciting. Because I don't like putting man-made things into my body. Exactly. Um, and how's your liver? It's good. It's all good, all gone now. All gone now. Hallelujah. My liver's all gone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's good. <laughs> and then, um, oh, um, 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 what the heck was I going to say? I don't know, keep talking. Oh. <laughs> Look at him, he's such an Look how cute my baby is. So, uh, so, there was something else I was going to say, but we're back at McCall's, what we're doing today. Uh, I'll get it. Oh, yeah. Gonna go no, we don't eat look at some treasures over at a friend of ours place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like got a box of goodies to check out. Yep. And I'm starving. Yep, we need food. She's starving. I'm starving. TNT's starving. TNT. You're not eating those berries, are you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're nasty. <laughs> there was something else uh, that I was going to say about her. Man, we're so happy. Her yeah. liver, they said, oh, the liver counts completely back to normal and... Um, no long-term effects. No long-term effects. The preeclampsia. Affected by stuff. the pregnancy. Yep. So all is beautiful there. Everything's back to normal. So this was a little uh, a disease. This little guy right here. Yeah, <laughs> he don't look like it. He's no, so he just so perfect. All right. So Hi. we will check in here in a few when we figure out what we can do. Yep. All right. So I don't know what's uh what exactly is going on with the bats right now. This is the second weird. Um, the other one was probably three or four times the size of this one. I do not know what is going on with these bats. But they may have rabies or something because they're coming out in the daytime and doing some very strange, strange things. Looks like his back's messed up. They're cool little critters, and I hate to put them down. I got a hummingbird right here. Look at that. See that hummingbird? <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's coming. He's just coming to tell me, man. Hey, dude, your feeder's out. So then back to this bat. <laughs> so, uh,. Yeah, I just don't know what's. I'm gonna have to put him down because I don't want him biting my dog or my cats or anything like that. I'm surprised he's right here with all these cats that we have right now. Cool little critter. I just thought I'd share that that little bit. Holy moly, man! He's getting ready to jump. Howdy. So we didn't end up filming anymore while we were up in McCall. Uh, ended up going over seeing some friends. Then we hit a couple of our favorite little stores and stuff up there. And actually, I was going to show a couple of things I got from a buddy of mine. Old Mount Man, friend of ours. And then we also scored some stuff at uh, a couple of the little stores. about that <laughs> thought I was ready we used to have Miss Kitty uh, there but she's uh she's hanging out she got overheated it's hot man it's like 101 degrees it was, I don't know if it was 100 in the call but it was man it was hot dude and tomorrow's supposed to be like 103 or something and I'm knocking crap over it holy moly um Anyway, so as you've seen with Katie and that little deal, she, uh, man, I can't even describe how happy, you know, obviously when your kids, something's wrong with your kids and stuff, just how happy, uh, man, we just wanted to, to coddle her, 
so happy that she's healthy. So happy that um, Tevin's gaining weight and all that, man. Just wonderful. And then right in the middle of all the that happiness, then in the flip of a flip of a page, I get a text uh, from my mom and a lifetime friend of mine, and me and Miss Kitty's too. Um, passed away, lost his battle with cancer on Friday. Mr. Jim Border called him Border. He was a uh, he was awesome, man. I, the first time, I remember the very first time I ever met or seen Border, I was probably about 10 or 11 years old, and he worked for my uncle, and came in to help my grandpa, and I was helping my grandpa build the laundry mat, and man, I thought, this dude is crazy. And then years later, um, I went and worked for my uncle, was an electrician apprentice for a while, out of his plant, and Border was the, um, the plumber and everybody was scared of him man but I'd known you know I'd met him when I was 10 you know so I'd always go hang out with him and stuff and we'd drink coffee together and stuff and he was man he's crazy man and at the time, back then he had the wild hair like Kramer and um, he uh, you know he's this old plumber man he's crazy and just really rough around the edges but man just the heart of gold man the greatest guy and everybody else was scared of him and they couldn't believe that man I'd always I'd hang out with him on breaks and lunch and stuff and Oh, he was just awesome, and then, then I didn't see him for years, and then, what was it, probably 10 years ago, Kitty? Yeah. About 10 years ago, um, he was working for my brother, doing for some plumbing for my brother, and we ended up hooking up again, and then for the last 10 years, we haven't actually seen him. He, we were, he was supposed to come up here, man, and he's been fighting cancer. He died four times. One time they actually wrote up the death notice, was in the process of writing up the death notice of him, and somebody's like, yeah, hey, I got a pulse. So I always called him the Energizer Bunny. But, uh, and he had cancer. He had to go in for, you know, uh, where they'd clean the cancer out of his blood. I mean, that guy was, man, he was just amazing. So, man, my thoughts and prayers definitely go out to Kevin, his son, and man just that just broke my heart it's just you know like i said it's so crazy how <laughs> you know just the life and death you know the <clears throat> like i said find out about katie she's all on the mend and um tevin and all that and you know and then jim you know border passed away on friday and just like we're at the hospital man all me kitty and all our kids were born in the same hospital and that's the same hospital my grandpa lost his battle with cancer and stuff you know and just the life and death rotation this is a little hillbilly philosophy. I'm a very sentimental person, and I've noticed the older I get, the more sentimental I get. <laughs> well, I'm going to show a couple of these things, man. Look at this. Uh... Man, I was so stoked about this old can. It just had screws in them. All I wanted that to take it. And as I dumped out the screws and stuff out of this old can, an old Granger pipe tobacco can. That is one cool old can. Of course, I'll put it up for, uh... so it sold for 86 cents back in the day. I'll put it up on auction, but it's one of those one, one of them things that if it doesn't sell, I really don't care. And then I've had, a, I think, one or two other of these. It's actually, they call it a ladies' spittoon. It's a weighted desktop little spittoon, you know, to set on your table or desk. Um, and yes, women do chew. My daughter, Cara, <laughs> chews on occasions, not all the time. And then this, man, I got grabbed for myself too, man. It's a solid brass Y. I just thought it was awesome, man. Just an old quality made one that I grabbed. Got uh, this. I thought it was pretty dang cool. This old drum. Man, and it's uh, I mean, man, and it's it's nailed. There's little pins, metal pins in it and stuff. And I would guess it from the 70s, maybe even the 60s, but this thing is obviously been just on a shelf or hanging on a wall or something. I mean, because this thing is just like almost brand new feeling. It, man, it is a cool old drum. And got that, you heard my heard me pull that over, I gotta straighten it all out, but this contraption of old bells, it's uh, put together, obviously I need to do some readjusting on it, but I just love this old, rusty gold baby, rusty gold, gotta give me some rusty gold, I just love this thing, uh, I'll straighten it all out, but cool old uh, wind chime bell thing there. Oh, got a handful of uh, good old books. Got this old look at this hardback old Chilton's Volkswagen book. But he always grabs me uh, 
Mostly my eye. Oh, this one's cool. This is a guide to collecting fruit jar jars and illustrated little book. This one's uh, Princess Islands Legends. It's got a lot of totem poles. I like to collect these for myself. Anything on the Pacific uh, Northwest tribes and stuff because I love the totem poles and eventually I want to get into carving totem poles. Same with this one. Cultures of the North Pacific. Just cool. Those two are for me. And then uh, interesting buildings in Silver City, Idaho. I love my Idaho books, man. That one was a score. And cemeteries of Idaho ghost towns, Fairview, Ruby City, and Silver City. I thought that one was a dang cool little book. So I had a few little scores. I actually got a handful, I don't know, a bag or two of other stuff that we got at the thrift stores. Um, all in all, man, it was a wonderful day. Um, breaks my heart about Jim, but at least he's not because he's been in pain for a for a long time. Breaks my heart that he didn't get up here to see the property. Man, we were trying to trying to get him up here, and you know that he just didn't didn't work out, man. So rest in peace, my brother. And good Lord willing, when the creeks don't rise, we'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.